Hello everybody, I uh, hope you're doing well. I just thought I'd do a quick live stream. I know it's kind of Friday afternoon, so I suspect most of you will probably have finished your school for the week or you're kind of just winding down and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so this video, I just thought I'd talk to you a little bit about what's gonna be happening this Sunday. Now it all started uh, when a student said, can I do some merchandise? Um, now I didn't want to just do t-shirts or something like that because uh, a lot of stuff uh, with stuff like that, you might pay 20 pounds of which like £19.80 goes towards the people who make the t-shirts, um, I probably wouldn't make much money and you'd be spending a lot of money on something. So I thought I'd do something different and after uh, talking to various people, uh, this is what we came up with. So uh, you can just about see, it's quite small, quite subtle, um, but this is a small pin badge. Now you might have seen a few photos in the community thing or on Instagram or Twitter. Um, now I haven't got a silver button, you're right. I will be getting one soon, hopefully. Anyway, so this thing here, uh, this is what I've got. Now I thought I'd just try it. Um, I've ordered about 150. Now some people currently have one, so um, I gave one to BioRach, to Mackham Guy, to Primrose Kitten. Um, but this one over here, it is 20 millimeters in diameter. So it's the kind of thing that you can put on your uniform if you want to, if you want to put it on like a blazer. You can put it on your bag at school. You might have a lanyard you might want to put it on, especially if you're a teacher. Um, I think it works pretty well. You can see it's like the, the, the kind of logo I have. Um, and the reason I've got this logo is because it's a Feynman diagram, which is a shape uh, that's used to represent particle interactions. Originally, when I did A-level, I had everything in white. So if you look at my A-level website, there's a white background. I then started doing GCSE and to make it different, I put that with a black background. So effectively this one represents the GCSE side, that represents the A-level side. And um, these things here, they are soon gonna become available. Now, when you buy it, uh, what you'll get is a small badge like this attached to one of these cards I've got. So you can see there's some of the thumbnails there with physics online. And for each one of them as well, I did, is actually my signature. So I've got my signature there to say thank you for your support. So if you do buy one, it's done by hand. And also because I've got some of them left, I do have some of these badges that you can attach to different things um, like the back of your laptop, your calculator, maybe even if you can get one of these onto the school sign outside your school, that'd be a legendary thing to do. So yeah, um, I've got some of these which come out with it as well. But basically these will be on sale on Sunday at 12 o'clock, that's UK time, so midday. They are five pounds, including postage. The, the stamp on its own costs 96 pence. Uh, so yes, yeah, so it's five pounds, complete total price. Um, and obviously that allows to, I guess, you to buy one of these. They're limited, I'm gonna have 150 available. Um, uh, yeah, so quite, uh, who knows, who knows if this is gonna work. I might have 149 left at the end of Sunday, but it might be that they all sell out in a few minutes. So these will be on sale on Sunday in the store. I've just been trying to set up a store, which is something I haven't done before. So if you want to buy one, and some of you uh, might want to, I'll put the link out on Sunday, uh, Sunday morning, probably about 11 o'clock or probably about five to 12, I'll post the link. Um, and I'll put that on the YouTube community tab, so often where there's polls and stuff like that. So if you go to my YouTube channel, um, if you go to the community tab, you'll see the link there. I'll also post it on Twitter, uh, especially if there are any teachers watching, and also I'll have it on Instagram as well. So depending where you're looking at stuff, um, yeah, hopefully you should all find it. And I thought I'd try and do it through my own store in case this is popular and I maybe do stuff in the future, maybe with other badges which are, um, you know, a similar design perhaps in different colors, or maybe other kind of items I can sell, which I think you'll actually find useful for you. So these will be on sale this Sunday um, at 12 o'clock. I've got 150 available, uh, first come, first served. Uh, the only thing is, I suppose, is that um, they are UK postage only because I only have second class stamps uh, from the Royal Mail. So I can't do international postage yet. And I know there's probably some of you watching in other countries. At the moment, it's just UK postage, uh, but the five pounds includes all of that. Um, and yes, the merch includes these enamel badges. So these are what we have for sale at the moment, these kind of pin badges. Oh yeah, on the back, um, it's just a simple pin like this. You can take it off and put it on. So pretty straightforward, but I think they work quite nice. Um, does anybody have any questions? Um, I could probably answer questions about these badges 
I've no idea what's going to happen in terms of when schools actually go back or what's happening with exams this summer. Um, I guess if you're doing IGCSEs, even if you're in England, uh, IGCSEs have been cancelled for this summer series. I think there's going to be an October series going ahead and I think they're going to look at another date maybe later in the year. Um, yeah, so apart from that, I have no idea about what's happening and I think at the moment the exam boards don't. So in terms of exams being cancelled, what the latest news is for uh, students in the UK in terms of uh, what their exam boards might be providing, as soon as I find out any concrete news, I'll let you know. Um, right, what do you get for five quid? Okay, for five quid, you basically get um, one of these cards with a pin badge attached to it. And also, because I've got some spare, you get a sticker. Um, and that includes postage for five pounds. So it's up to you. Um, I must say, I don't think by selling these, I'm going to become massively rich by the time I've paid for these and all the bits and pieces and the postage. I'm only making a few pounds out of them, but that continues to support the channel. And that includes the free stuff I do when, obviously you can see probably on, on YouTube, I've got loads of free stuff there for everybody. It allows me to keep making videos. And um, if you're a GCSE student, you might notice recently I've added about 60 videos to the website over the last couple of months, which have practical experiments. And obviously I'll be doing something similar in the future. Um, ah, there's a, one of these rulers I used in the video. Will they ever go on sale? Um, okay, yeah. Uh, I was actually had a chat to an hour uh, for about an hour yesterday with a guy, Miles Hudson, who actually came up with these line of best fit rulers. Um, I don't think he's making them anymore, but I might be able to speak to him, maybe see if we could sell those through my website as well, perhaps, because we could maybe try and do a branded one for physics online. Tell you what, I'll speak to Miles and see if he might uh, start making them again, how much it might cost to actually sell them on to you guys. That's a good idea, actually. Um, okay, sell the physics MOOCs, mocks. Um, yeah, maybe I could have some little physics sets so you could buy just the bits of Lego that you need uh, for the different kind of particle physics bits and pieces. That's an idea. Um, I suspect I probably wouldn't make much money from that because by the time I buy the Lego and sort it out and send it out to you guys, I probably wouldn't make much, but maybe that could be a nice idea. Um, yeah, uh, somebody asking about, they've seen a lot of GCSE practical videos, but not many A-level videos. Uh, that's correct. Um, what I've done recently is every single possible, pretty much um, the kind of the main practicals you need to know for GCSE physics. So that's all the required practicals for AQA. I think they're called core practicals or suggested practicals or prescribed practicals. I've done that for every exam board for GCSE. And then in the future, I'm gonna be doing the same for A-level. So I will have every possible experiment for A-level. Now on my A-level website, there are loads of videos where I go through the method for each one, but I don't necessarily have all the equipment. So that's something I will be doing. A lot of them, I do show that. So if you go to the A-level website, you can see stuff like maybe the um, magnetic field inside a Helmholtz coil. You might see there's one to do with radiation, but there's no sets of data, but that is on my to-do list. So that will happen at some point. Um, no way, okay, Kieran says, Absolutely saved your GCSEs, went from six to a nine. Um, don't have taking A-levels relying on my videos. Uh, yeah, that's really good actually. So um, it's actually quite nice because a lot of people, especially now, they can see what I've done at GCSE and hopefully it'll help you some way to actually understand the physics. And ultimately, even if you aren't doing the real exams, the better you are at physics, the higher the grade that the teacher can give you. And then hopefully that'll be a nice transition. So if you know that I've got videos for GCSE, you know that I can help support you as you go into year 12 and into year 13. Um, a best fit ruler. Let me see if I've got one. Okay, I might have one over here. Um, okay, um, asking about this line of best fit ruler, um, I think, I, actually I can't find one in my office, but basically what it is, if I just move this out of the way, so this is my current ruler I'm using, you basically have two of these rulers, so I've actually got my spare one here, my new one, and it's basically a ruler that's um, transparent, and in the middle it's got a gap here. 
okay? And that means you can actually put it over your bits of data, you can draw your line through the middle of the ruler and it allows you to draw a line of best fit. It's a bit of a gimmick, it's just something which is a bit of fun, but people tend to quite like them. So I'll see if I can maybe get some of those made. Okay, that's a good idea. Um, can I make a members channel? So I looked into this on YouTube about having like a membership area, but I think there's issues where you can only do that if the members are over the age of 18. I think um, there's limitations about, because if you're a member, you have to pay extra, you get extra kind of perks, but it's not for people under the age of 18, uh, in case you start spending all of your parents' money by buying me great stuff on YouTube and kind of um, doing super chats and so on. So I don't think I'm allowed to have a members only area on YouTube because the audience is under the age of 18. Um, yeah, uh, and yet, yeah, Physics A-Level has a lot of homework, it does. Um, oh, which other channels have a membership thing? Do you know, maybe I need to look into this because ultimately, um, I thought about doing like a Discord server or maybe some other kind of A-Level thing uh, where I have like an, a members only area so you get a bit more help than just the normal live streams. Um, I'm obviously quite keen to do this to basically have a bit more revenue and actually support students a bit more. So it's rather than just like, here's some videos I've made previously, what, what, I, what can I actually do to help you a bit more sort of one-to-one -one support? Um, I'll have a look at that. Uh, Discord server could be better, yeah. To be honest, I don't know anything about how to set up a Discord server. Um, I want to make sure that if I did it, it would all be completely legitimate. There's no like safeguarding issues or um, GDPR issues and stuff like that. So I'd have to think about the best way of doing that, but I'll, um, yeah, who knows? Anyway, um, and I know I know most young people use Discord. I guess I'm thinking about if I'm doing it as a business, how is it, um, is it all good? Anyway, I'm getting off the topic now. Um, so yeah, these things here, if you want to buy it, okay, Genius456, we'll do one quick question. But anybody else who's watching, these will be available on Sunday at 12 o'clock. You get your pin badge, uh, you get a sticker as well. Uh, and these pin badges, they are only a fiver, including postage, and that helps support the channel, support what I'm doing, and hopefully then you can wear it at school or at home or whatever, or maybe even you can give it as a present to your teacher. Bearing in mind, your teachers might be the ones giving you their predicted grade, Buy one of these for your teacher, they'll love it. They can wear it on their lanyard at school. They'll be the talk of the staff room and they'll probably appreciate you a little bit more as a student and they might therefore give you a better grade. No guarantee of that, but they might at least know who you are and therefore might be a little bit more um, optimistic about the grades that you can achieve this summer. Is it limited to one per person? Uh, no, I don't think it is actually. Um, it's basically a five at each. You don't really, I've only set up the shop where I think you can put in more than one if you want to buy more than one of these, but you don't really get a discount on shipping, I don't think. Um, so yeah, you can bribe the teachers. Uh, the merch will be available for until it is all sold. If it all sells out, I might buy some more. I might get another thousand perhaps, or another few hundred, uh, but we'll see. If, if nobody buys it, then um, the, the merch will be available until it's all sold. Right. Um, Uh, will there be a force acting on a wire carrying a current of two amps running parallel to a magnetic field? Okay, if anybody is A-level here, then you might know this. Um, now, this is where we have things like the left-hand rule, so Fleming's left-hand rule. What you have is, with the Fleming's left-hand rule, and actually at some point I'm going to make a model hand to, to do this, you've got first finger is a magnetic field, the current is at right angles to it, and then you experience the force. If, however this thing, the, the current, was parallel to the magnetic field, then there wouldn't be a force. Because what you have there isn't uh, Fleming's left-hand rule, you've just got like a gun shape with your hand. So it's, oh, you only experience the force when the current has a component at right angles to the direction of the field. So uh, Genius 4, 5, 6, if you had the current parallel to the field, there'd be no force. If you've got the current at exactly 90 degrees, we get the most force. And if you're doing A-level, if there's a component of the current at right, angle degree, at right angles, that's when you experience the force. Yeah, as Destiny Awaits says, F equals BIL sine theta. Fleming's left-hand rule in GCSE. Yeah, loads of great answers there. So a lot of you, you know what you're talking about. And I would say that using Fleming's left-hand rule is definitely one of the trickiest areas for GCSE, but actually it develops at A-level because then we can look at not just current in a wire, 
but actually the force on a charged particle in a magnetic field. And that then links to things like uh, mass spectrometers uh, and actually using a magnetic field to look at the uh, charge on different particles. Okay. Um, would I sell my own diffraction gratings as merch? I, is there any, would anybody buy them is a question. I've got a few ideas. Um, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 that's all good. Um, anyway, if you've got any more ideas, uh, please let me know. Um, there's also, yeah, I'm sure there's ways you can get in uh, contact with me. Um, and I can therefore, you know, hopefully react to stuff so that I can actually sell stuff that first of all, isn't too expensive. Uh, secondly, it's useful. And thirdly, you'd actually buy. So yeah, um, everybody have a good rest of the afternoon. Hopefully you finish most of the school for the day. Have a good weekend off. Try not to look at screens too much. I know that my eyes are so tired because I've been editing videos all the time. I mean, that's my job. But I, I guess for a lot of you, you've been working all the time online. Um, yeah. And also Jakey145, can I explain band theory? I don't know. I don't understand band theory. I'll probably have to look into that and maybe make some videos about that. Um, apart from that, the merch will be available uh, on my online store. I will send the link out to that on Sunday just before they go on sale. Until then, of course, thank you very much. Have a good weekend and goodbye.